welcome to Gardening with Keeks and Louie. This is Keeks, Louie's over here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how you add soil conditioners and additives to your soil to get the best, uh, best kind of growth you want out of your garden to supersize your vegetables. So over here I have my different additives and I have both um, organic additives and inorganic add additives. This is what I used last year. It was a compost and manure mix. It recommended you spread two inches along all of your soil beds and mix it in. Again, I'd said that that failed. And uh, what I think could have solved the problem is if I added more sand to the, the mixture because sand, um, another thing called azomite, they can break down uh, organic materials faster. Azomite costs around ten to twenty dollars for two pounds. Uh, sand is a lot cheaper. Another solution is to use bone meal, and you can see bone meal is basically like a powder, and it's um, calcium carbonate mostly. Plants definitely need calcium carbonate. This bag here was a is twenty pounds for about seven dollars. Um, these are worm casings, and if you look at those. These are um, basically the most concentrated worm casings you can buy. And they, uh, they recommend with this kind of worm casing that you mix them with water and you create a worm tea. And so I'm going to be trying that this summer. And um, another kind of worm casing I bought this year, it's just like a dry powdered and I don't think this is nearly as concentrated as that. They just recommend you add this to, to your soil. And this was $10. This, this really concentrated mix was $20 for that much. And, um, you know, these, these so we're, I'm showing you basically organic solutions to gardening that people recommend. So if you come over this way, this is when we start getting into more inorganic nutrients. This one's called Natural Guard. It's a soil um, activator. It kind of does something, something similar to the rock dust and worm casings. It makes your soil more probiotic. And it's uh, recommended for both lawn and garden use. The main ingredient is leonardite. Leonardite. And it's basically um, a rock, a broken down rock. And it's... Um, I think that this is probably more of an organic material, but it's saying that this is not take the place of a organic fertilizer. So it's it's more of, of a soil amendment that's going to supposedly increase the quality of your of your soil. Um, so these three are, are three different fertilizers, and this is the fertilizer that I've used for for years now, and I've really got great results from it. It goes along with um, a method that I'll be using all summer long, which is the Mitlider method. This is a weekly feed formula, and basically it contains all of the um, inorganic nutrients that plants need to survive and thrive, including the trace minerals. So plants need basically uh, nitrogen, potassium, uh, magnesium, boron, zinc, iron, copper sulfate, calcium sulfate, sulfur, chlorine, and a little bit of molybdenum. And those are all contained in this fertilizer mix and in the proportions that the plants need them. Obviously plants need the most nitrogen and so the most uh, prevalent ingredient is this is the nitrogen um, uh, pellets that are water soluble. So. As I said, this summer I'm going to be doing half of my garden using um, inorganic nutrients, the other half of my garden using organic gardening. And this is going to be my organic bed, so I'm adding to this um, per, per foot of bed, I'm adding about two tablespoons of worm casings. And so this is enough for this much of the bed. And I'm only going to go to right there because that's not enough to complete the whole bed. This is, again, a really expensive way of going about it. This much bone mill, this is about two ounces per foot. 
and the bone mill is most, mostly calcium carbonate, but it's made from broken down bones. So that, that was about eight ounces for my 10 foot um, grow bed. I'm gonna work that into the soil. A lot of people have been talking about azomite, and I mentioned earlier that azomite is, is rock dust. Another thing that's pretty close to rock dust is sand. Azomite is about uh, $10 for two pounds. This play sand was $3, and this is about 30 pounds. This basically also functions as a probiotic. Microorganisms can grow and flourish if you break up and aerate your soil with sand. And I'm adding about roughly about four or five ounces per foot of my grow bed. So the last thing I'm gonna add is this volcanic um, leonardite. This was really, this came highly recommended at the garden center I went to. And this I'm only adding about one ounce per cube, per, per vertical foot of my grow bed. So this won't quite cover and get to about right there. Um, and then over here, this, this grow bed, I'm gonna be using my chemical fertilizer. So I'll be planting kale, beets, lettuce in both of these grow beds. Uh, you can see how the organic grow bed works, how the uh, inorganic nutrient bed works in future episodes throughout the summer.